Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another day of the video diary and I've got a couple of things to tell you this morning. So that makes a change, doesn't it? First things first, I'm aware, Jesus Christ, that it's like the, the most hideous, biggest spot I've ever had in my entire life. I woke up this morning looking like an absolute tramp. Like literally, I basically woke up with a beard, with this growth on my chin, I'm growing a new head on my chin at the moment. Um, <laughs> and to be honest with you, it is, you're, you're lucky I've managed to shape myself into this. And that's only because I got up at half past six and I'm now leaving and it's only just gone nine. So I've had a lot of time to, to bloody get myself ready. Jesus Christ, man. Also, got up at half past six this morning, um, panicking because I thought it was nine o'clock. Because I was dreaming and I thought it was nine o'clock when I got up and uh, literally wet myself. Not literally, metaphorically. But otherwise, I sat and I had two breakfasts this morning. I had grapefruit and tea. And then I had grapefruit, like a full grapefruit, <laughs> and tea. And then I had grapefruit juice and um, toast, which is very nice. Um, and I watched Top Gear while I was getting ready. And now we're heading to uni, and you'll notice I'm not wearing a coat or a scarf or anything. Well, I am wearing something, I'm wearing clothes, but I'm wearing a hoodie because it's the end of winter, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. And while I like this kind of weather because it's still cool enough, you could wear a coat and get away with it. Um, it's still cool enough so you're not melting. It's not bad weather, it's not too hot yet. You can wear jeans and stuff. But yeah, spring means a couple of things. It means no more coats, which I'm actually quite sad about because I like my coat. Um, but also it means the return of Converse, which is very hard to get used to uh, after wearing shoes for about three months now. Um, because one, I don't have a heel, so I feel like I'm walking like a retard, just like, I feel like I'm walking really stoutly because I'm trying not to lean on the heels like I would on a heel shoe. Um, also, I look down and they're not black and pointy. Like, I can see them in the corner of my eyes now because uh, they're not just like discreet, pointy black shoes. Um, they don't clip clop as I'm walking around because I feel like a ghost. <laughs> and um, also, they're odd, so they're not smart. They're the ones that Dad got me, the bright white one and like the bright, the really dark grey. And I'm thinking, I don't know, I think they're a bit too odd. I think they're odd for being odd's sake as opposed to the other ones which are subtly odd. So, Dad says like you can take them back. I'm trying them, this is like the second time I've worn them I think, second or third time. So, if they don't work then I'll just take them back. I don't, I don't know, I think they're alright. Fuck it, you just get used to them, innit? <laughs> deal with it, innit, yo? Otherwise, they were going to uni. We've got one lecture today. It's a programming lecture, which means I'm travelling light with just my laptop and my notes. Um, and hopefully, it'll be giving us some hints and tricks for the coursework, which is what the idea of this lecture is. Because it's technically consolidation week. We're not even supposed to have lectures. But he's putting this on for us specifically, so we may as well go. And we're off home. And I believe that's Blossom on the floor. It's spring, everybody. Yeah. Well, that was fun. We turned up to the programming lecture uh, expecting help with our coursework and stuff and um, it just turns around and says well uh, I've had loads of emails but like like I think I'll just do exam questions with that word so he's like does anyone want to ask a question and everyone's like we're computer scientists we don't talk so what we do to ourselves <laughs> but uh, yeah so he's like anyone want to ask a question he's like what is a cut and then he explained what a cut was about the longest windest thing ever and then otherwise it was like I said a sorting algorithm I emailed you about the other day. Um, can we go over that, please? Because I've got no idea. He says, Well, do you want to come up and write it on the board? And I'm like, Jesus Christ. So, in a lecture theatre with not enough people in it for it to not be awkward. You know what I mean? If there was a lot of people there, it wouldn't be awkward, I don't think. But there was like an awkwardly small amount of number there. But I went up, wrote up my program onto the board. No one could figure out why it wouldn't work. Uh, and then that's that, really. What a whale of a time, it was great. So I was sat there like ducking under the board as he's explaining what cuts are, writing onto it, <laughs> looking my program, like a dick. And then he goes, right, sits down in the lecture, on a seat, and I'm like, what? <laughs> he's like, go on, explain it. I'm like, well, it doesn't work, it infinite loops, it does this, it's this, I'm like, fuck. And he says, well, why didn't you use the quick sort I emailed you? I'm like, because it's slow and we're getting marked on how quick we are. So uh, I just copied and pasted his fucking quick sort in and uh, thingy it because he couldn't solve it. In fact, the class was more fucking helpful than he was. What a guy. So yeah, otherwise we're heading home. 
because that was all we had today. Uh, we're going in, we're going to do some more prologue programming. Uh, now that works, it means we can start shaping some of those around and stuff. Which is good fun. Uh, but otherwise, since we've got that now working, we'll work on everything else, which involves cutting stuff in and out, cutting stuff in and out of the loops. Um, cutting stuff in and out of the list to make it better and get it closer to the right answer and stuff like that. Um, we're going to do some Java programming later. But yeah, that's the plan. That's the initial plan for now. Now pancakes for dinner tonight. It's going to be delicious. Right then, here's something. I've just been programming away here, just, just churning out some code. And what I've discovered is this section here, right? This thing. Focus. This equal colon equal basically says if this is equal to this, right? You could use, like I have up here, look. Well, kind of. This equal sign to test it. And I've done it somewhere else, I believe. Down here. Equal sign. However, if you change it to equal colon equals, it runs about 20,000 inferences faster. That's a lot. Why? Why do they both exist if one's not as good as the other? Jesus. Now I'm going to go through, right? Okay, let's imagine this is true. We're now going to go through and we're going to change all of them to this other one, yeah? Right then, I can assure you now that the only differences between these two pieces of code is the fact that this line here has equals zero instead of equals colon equals zero. Okay, so we're going to run it here. It's going to print prime a load of times. Don't worry about that. Uh, and we got 71 thousand inferences okay we're gonna run this line and i swear to god they are no different well that one doesn't work anymore so okay here we go reloaded it bam 52 there is no other difference no other difference if i go into this now look i want to do this live because i think this is bullshit i want to know why this is if anyone knows <laughs> casually know um colon equals save reload this file uh, over here now reloading Reloading files, run it again, 50 inferences, what? No idea, what the hell? I have no idea what makes sense, if that makes sense in any way, shape or form. Otherwise though, the landlord came around today in order to fix our um, freezer, uh, which I forgot to tell him basically that we'd uh, temporarily fixed it um, by thinking, and he said that the reason it had all defrosted was because an apron was stuck in the door. Or that could have happened, which meant it would have stayed open. Mate. What a freaking guy. Jesus Christ. Right, lunchtime, I believe. We've made progress. We've got a quick sort running. Yeah! Annoyingly, it was by copying and pasting the one that he's given us. Um, but I've got a quick sort running. I've got inferences running. I've now also re well, rewritten the code so that it's actually returning the value. What I was actually doing was just getting like here, starting and then just burning through the list like this. Like all the way down and there's my answer here. What I actually want is the answer back up here. So you kind of have to go there and then boot it back up and then there, then boot it back up and then there. So I've now rewritten all of that. We've done a lot of good work. I'm going to have myself some lunch. Um, I'm just blowing my own trumpet a little bit to make myself feel better about the fact that technically not much has changed except the fact that it now roots back. But that is actually a big change. It just doesn't sound like a big change. So. Work. No. Food. What are we having? We're going to have... I don't want eggs. I'm pancakes later. I'll have soup. Soup. I'm actually not all that hungry. So, I'm going to take my uh, grapefruit through. And stuff. That I ate earlier. Wash up. I'm looking around for other things that need washing up. Can't find anything. Um, and then I will get like some fruit or some shit later. I'm not particularly in the mood. I just went in and I'm like, do I want soup? No. Do I want pasta? No. Do I want like anything on toast? No. So, just do some washing up because otherwise I'll end up leaving it for friggin' ages. <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah. The first stage is bloody finished, ladies and gentlemen. We finished the first stage. That is incredible. Um, S1 is now done. We've got to do five S's. Well, four S's, and then the last one's just got to be like efficient. Um, Oh, S1's done, and the good thing about S1 being done is I now know basically 
all of the legwork behind running the S's is now just the ones. Like each of the S's are basically the same. It's take this list, cut out what we don't need, sort it, done. Um, I know from S1 how to cut out this thing um, and sort it. From now on, what I need to do is figure out how to cut it out, bam, in. So what I need to do is figure out the algorithm that selects the right thing in order to cut it out and then I'm happy. Um, otherwise though, it's time for some din dins, I believe. It's slow progress, but it's programming, so what do you expect? Um, we're getting there. It's not really that slow. It's pretty freaking cool, to be honest with you. Um, we're doing good. But what's for dinner tonight? We're having pancakes. Why? Because we bought too much pancake stuff. We had way too many lemons. We had way too many lemons. We had way too many... Um, well, I deliberately bought too much pancake mix. Um, so technically, on purpose, we got too much stuff. So we're going to have more... Um, We'll have this again basically, it's gonna be delicious. I've got four lemons. Jesus. <laughs> I bought five lemons. I've literally no idea. Um, otherwise, do you remember how to make this? Uh, something to do with water, which is what I'm pouring the tap for. 500 millilitres of cold water in a bowl. Whisk. Three eggs. Add slowly and whisk. Oh, it takes a decade this does. That's why I'm starting. It's quarter to six. I'm starting it early. We're getting into it. It's going to take me about seven hours to do. And back in here, and we're currently building S2. Um, and my lord, is it... Oh, I'm also drying my clothes as well. The light, the zip bit, the, bu the buttons bit was still a bit damp. But now everything else is dry, so we can pop this away and then clean my room tomorrow or today at some point. I've got to take five because me and Jamie there were trying to solve this issue. I'm trying to explain to him the logic behind this S2, basically, and it was mad. It was like, we're both there, and he's like, but I don't get it. I'm like, but this, and then like this, and then we're getting like really caught up in this little detail, and then we just went, hold on, step back, Oof, there's everything, bam, there it is, solved. Oh my god, that was brutal. Oh shit. Oh, man, I had to literally just walk out there and play a game for five minutes, because it was just my brain just going problem solving like a beast. Oh my god, that was great. Oh, I don't want to explain to you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, let's do it. So, we observe a conversation. We know for a fact, okay, that x, um, x is greater than 1 and y is greater than x. Uh, we know that x plus y is less than or equal to 100, and that's all we know. Um, otherwise, there's two mathematicians over there, there and there, and they're both very fucking clever, right? We've got A and B. In the program, they're called PNS, and that was really fucking confusing. Okay, so A is given, what's A given? Fucking, here we go, is given A, okay then, so A is given the product of X and Y. We don't know what X and Y are, but it's given the product of it, so X times by Y. S is, no, B is given, you see why it's confusing? The sum. It's confusing in a minute because the orders change. Okay, so the one with the multiplication, with the product, says, I don't know what the answer is. At which point, the other person then says, the one who's had the addition, then says, I don't know what the answer is, and I know you didn't know. That's what we're trying to get in, into our head. Our program, S2, needs to be able to figure out what the possible answers are after that point in the conversation. We were getting net up in the thinking, like, how the hell does S2... Um, this person over here, the one with the product, know for a fact that he hasn't got this and this and this and this and this. But if you step back, it actually makes quite a lot of sense. Me, the observer, the program here, is listening to this conversation. It sees this person say, I don't know what the answer is. You've been given the product, which means the only thing that you can have, basically, are unique numbers. So if I generated a list, a massive fuck off list, um, with all of the possible x's, all of the possible y's in range, uh, and then stored the sums and the, pu and the, and the um, products, um, I would then just need to go through the list, find a product that isn't repeated, and delete that, because you can't, you can't have that number, you can't have been given that product, because otherwise you know what X and Y. I then overhear the other guy saying, I know you didn't know, which means that his number, whatever it is, right, the X and Y added together, he knows there are multiple different possibilities for that. He knows that, say if he was given 11, he knows that he could have... 8 and 3. 3 and 8 he could have. Um, he could have 4 and 7 and all of that. Um, but he said he knew that he didn't have it, which means that if, I w if that person was given a number 
which would enable this guy to only have one unique solution, then that means that he wouldn't know that he didn't know. So he knows for a fact that there are no possibilities, and there's two additions, there's no possible x and y that make up his, the number he's been given that has, if times together, a unique value. So, in this massive fuck off list, not only can you delete all of the things with unique values, but you can delete all of the things with the same sum as the unique value. Delete, 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 and then you're on to the next stage. And that took us so long to figure out, because whereas they're like, but, but how does this guy, he only knows the sum, how does he know that this guy definitely hasn't crossed off his product? Just because he knows that, say, he's got 37, what is it? 51. Just because I've been given 51, how do I know for a fact that you've crossed off this, 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 because there's loads of possibilities. And we've just figured it out there. Doesn't it make sense when you step, step back? Hopefully. Logic programming, eh? Oh, what a barrel of laughs. I'm enjoying this. This is great. I'm, I'm probably going to do a pretty late night tonight doing this. I'm having a whale of a time. Okay, I've hit a brick road again. I'm pretty stuck. Um, I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing at this point now because I've got it all running, uh, except this S2 rules thing doesn't want to run, and I can't figure out why. And I think it's the same kind of thing that's that fucked me over when I was doing the um, sorting, which I didn't manage to fix. Uh, what it should do here, it should run in, and it's calling this top line here, uh, second to top one of S2 fails. It calls through, and it figures out if H is less than S. When it's finding out whether H is less than S, it will then increment through the list, using this, by chopping off the H, uh, b -b 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 oh god, it's really confusing when it's on camera as well, uh, by, by, um, what's it doing? Chopping off the H, look, there's a H here. We chop it off, we don't want that anymore, we call back through again, right? Okay, so this is when it then goes through, and it keeps doing this until this fails. So when it's equal to, or when it's thingy, it turns out it's equal to, before we get anywhere else. So we go, then go here. So we're equal to, except, it, what it does instead, is it calls this, and then goes back up here, then goes to this dot, skips this shit, doesn't care about that at all, just goes straight to here, this stack goes from fucking like one all the way up to bloody whatever the hell number it is on now. And I don't know what it's doing. I just don't know. Right, one last check then before we go to bed. Run through. Bam, okay, right, we're here. So we enter here. Got a hearthstone open, lol. Um, I've literally just been playing a level. Okay, so if we're in. Right, at this point here then. X is equal to 2, Y is equal to 6, uh, S is equal to 8, and P is equal to 12. Our current H value is equal to 5. So, 5 is less than 8, so pass. We then run back in again. X, Y, S, and P all stay the same, except H, which changes now to 6, because we've fed in another data value. So, 6 is still less than 8, so you run through again. Uh, it's H has now become 7, still false, uh, still less, so we run through. Uh, okay, so now here's the interesting part. S is equal to H, right? Is equal to 8. Down here then, so H, is H less than S? It'll turn red. No, because it's false. Now it'll go up to S2, which I, it shouldn't do. Now, if we tap again... It runs to that full stop there. We've ended up printing this to screen. Oh no, we haven't printed shit to screen yet. So it's still waiting in order to run this lot out. Um, press play again. Print screen. Eight to three characters long, and it's just printing. It's just that's not. It's not even doing anything. It's so strange. I don't get what it's doing there. I'm stepping through and it's just not stepping through properly. I don't know. And I'm going to call it a night because I'm just going to start staring at it and it's not going to do much. I'm just going to waste time. So I'm going to go to bed because I need to get up early in tomorrow morning so that I can get up to campus in order to ask questions about graphics. 
Tomorrow we need to figure out what we're doing for our graphics course. Well, technically this is in for a Friday next week. Um, we've got some stuff that's on for Tuesday next week, Monday next week, two things for Friday next week. It's very intensive. Um, but this has come on leaps and bounds. It's insane how much work I've got done in this and how much is starting to make sense until I've now started cocking this up. So it's looking good at the moment. Um, the only issue being that I now don't know what the fuck it's doing and I need it to do this bit so that I can move on to the next part. Um, otherwise, yeah, tomorrow we're going to be getting up early, sorting this room out um, and then heading up to campus for the graphics thing, hopefully figuring out exactly what we need to do for the graphics and then we will be running... Um, what we will be running? Running the hell back down here, having some lunch, getting stuck into either graphics or graphics or maths, I think, potentially, and then probably a bit of this, and then hopefully some Java, because I need to get some Java done so that I can write some reports on the train up to Leeds tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, technically tomorrow, it's two o'clock in the morning. So yeah, I think I'm going to call it a night, ladies and gentlemen. Um, like I said, we've only got one thing tomorrow, which is this graphics. So hopefully we'll be able to find out exactly what it is we need to do in the graphics so that we can actually do the coursework. Um, it's not really a coursework, it's kind of like a make sure you understand this, make sure you can do this, but it's not technically a, co not technically a coursework. I need this tomorrow, so pop that somewhere, I'll remember it on my bag. There. This room needs tidying, um, which I need to do at some point. But yeah, it's going well. I think it's gone well, to be honest with you. This, going to, to be honest with you, going to Lovelace is stupid and idiotic, but I don't really care. Because we're talking, like, if I continue working at this pace, by Friday, Saturday, I'll nearly have everything done. I'll literally have everything done, to a certain extent. So, like, you know what I mean? There's no point. You may as well just fucking get into it, you know? Go to Lovelace. And then sacrifice some night's sleep next week. <laughs> what we need to do though is we need to prioritise a Monday. The Monday deadline and the Tuesday deadline, which is graphics and maths. Maths shouldn't be too hard. I think I've already done maths. I don't know. I don't know what it's asking. Maths is really fucking hard this term. Um, not going to lie to you. But anyway, I'm going to get going. Thanks very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's been a delight. Don't know what's happened today specifically. Specifically exciting. Oh, just listen to Gilbert freaking get mentioned on BBC One Radio One. What? Jess came running downstairs like, oh, listen to this. And apparently um, Scott Mills came to our campus to like do the radio, to do a, a countdown radio show or whatever on on our radio. I don't fucking know. And Gilbert's got something to do with that and stuff. And he was saying about how, how this magical mathematician kid was doing... Um, was uh, counting like how many seconds were left in each song and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, so well done Gilbert, you little beast. But yeah, otherwise, that's it. Oh God, and that's, oh, that's the train times that Lovely's coming down to, to me again after the time I've gone to her. That's, that's got organised today as well, it's in like three weeks, which is going to be cool. After all of these deadlines, hopefully, except one, two. Um, but yeah, so that's that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to get going, because I've said I was going to get going a minute ago, and then didn't, and otherwise I'm going to stay up too late, um, which it already is. Well, I was going to stay up quite late today. Shut up talking. I'll catch you later.